Hey guys, welcome to my channel, and by the way, Happy New Year! Um, so if you've been following along, you obviously know that I've been preparing for a trip to Africa, and my flight was supposed to be today. Um, but obviously based on the title of this video, it's pretty clear that it did not happen. Um, so it definitely wasn't my fault, it was outside of my control, but um, I guess that's the realities of trying to fly during a pandemic. Uh, so let's just get right into it and see what happens. So I've been slowly preparing to pack over the last few weeks, ensuring I had everything on my list and also organizing my clothes into these um, packing cubes which really makes such a huge difference. So with my flight expected to be less than a week away, it was time to actually pack it all up and make sure everything could actually fit um, in the suitcases. Um, I also weighed all my bags at the end because obviously nobody wants to get to the airport and then realize their bags are overweight. Uh, after recording this, I did end up making a couple small adjustments to redistribute the weight to most of the bags, but surprisingly I managed to fit everything I had planned for this trip. And I know it may seem like a lot of bags, but I'm actually going to be staying for about three months. Um, so I think I did pretty good because normally I would pack a whole large suitcase, like one week beach vacation. So yeah, I'm proud of myself. <laughs> to do a COVID test because it is a requirement for entry into Botswana, um, which is where my African journey is going to begin. Um, the requirement is basically that all entrants receive a negative um, COVID PCR test within 72 hours of departure. I took my test on Wednesday, which was the 30th, which would have been three days before the flight. That gave me enough of a buffer to receive the result before the flight, um, as the turnaround time is about 24 to 48 hours. So based on my current plans, I was definitely on track. Hey guys, so I just got to the pharmacy um, to do my COVID test because I leave on Saturday. Um, so I'm super excited. I've actually done a couple of tests before um, because I went with my nephew to do some acting um, stuff. But um, so I'm not too concerned about the test um, on its own. But here I am. Wish me luck. Um, I'm gonna go just finished the test it was super quick it took like all of two seconds um, no different than the ones I've had before except um, I think she went back a little further than they did um, when we were on set but it didn't really feel that bad it's not painful at all it's just like literally just a little tingle and and then it's done and you feel like you have to um, to cough but um, yeah so that's it not a big deal so now that that's done um, I'm pretty much already packed and now it's just a, a waiting game I'm supposed to get my results within 24 to 48 hours so I'll wait for those um, and then head out so I'll be back in touch with you guys soon. About 20 minutes after getting home from the test I got a call from Ethiopian Airlines basically informing me that with my flight on Saturday I would not be granted entry into Botswana. Yeah, so let's just step back for a second. 
I had originally booked my flight on November 17th, which would depart on January 1st. Um, I would then arrive in Ethiopia on January 2nd with about an hour and a half layover um, before my flight to Botswana. November 24th, my flight was changed. Basically, it was switched to depart on January 2nd instead with my second flight consistently being pushed to January. So not the worst, not the end of the world. It's one day difference. Okay, fine. Then on December 16th, I received another flight change notification. But this time, um, my first flight remained on January 2nd, but my second flight was being pushed to January 5th. And that meant I would have a two-day layover in Ethiopia. Obviously, that was not ideal. I immediately um, started doing some research and called the airline to see what my options were. Essentially, they told me that there were no other flights um, available and I could either cancel the flight or take it. That, that was it. Um, realistically, I did not want to cancel nor did I want to go through the hassle of trying to find another flight, especially with um, my departure date coming up in the next like two weeks or so. Um, so I inquired further about the stipulations regarding the layover. And I was basically told that the airline would cover one day of hotel accommodations, um, but I would be responsible for the second day. And I would also have to take another COVID test um, because the length of the layover was too long for them to allow my COVID test from Toronto to be valid for entry into Botswana. So after like a lot of back and forth um, with the airline, I got them to essentially agree to cover the second day of the hotel accommodation. So at least I knew that that part was um, covered, but I would still be responsible for um, paying for the additional COVID test. Still definitely not ideal, but after kind of sitting with it and thinking about it for a while, I just decided that um, I would go with it and just look at it as like part of the journey um, and at least I would be able to um, explore Ethiopia a little bit. But then on December 30th, um, literally minutes after, um, getting my COVID test done, I received a call from Ethiopian Airlines telling me that I would need to um, change my flight again to either one that was the next day <laughs> or um, to the following Thursday. Obviously, having just done my COVID test, it was highly unlikely that I would receive the result in time, but I was determined to try because like I said, I was just packed and ready to go. Hey guys, so I am, it is currently December 31st, 2020 at about um, just after 9am. I'm currently in the Toronto Pearson International Airport. Um, I know originally I was supposed to leave on Saturday, which was January 2nd. Um, but literally yesterday, um, the Ethiopian Airlines contacted me and basically told me that my flight on Saturday, with my flight on Saturday, I would not gain entry um, into Botswana, which is my final destination um, at this point. Um, and so obviously that gave me less than a day um, to prepare. Luckily, I was pretty much packed ready um, because I was excited and ready to go. Um, but it still, I still had a lot of um, last minute things to do and take care of. I basically spent the whole day and whole night just kind of 
waiting. I don't think I really slept at all. I probably got like an hour of sleep. And then I was up at six. Um, I was hoping I would wake up and my results would be there. Um, but woke up to, to nothing, um, which was really disheartening because my flight today was supposed to be at 10. Um, and so I just kind of continually was checking, 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 pushing my phone like every two seconds. Um, and I decided to just come to the airport on the hopes that by the time I got here and before like the gate closed, I would get the results um, and I would be ready and good to go. Um, stood at the gate for probably two hours and basically by now um, they just closed the gate and they started boarding so essentially i'm not making that flight and honestly guys it's been really really frustrating i think i'm feeling really deflated um right now i honestly feel like i want to cry um just out of pure frustration um and there's just been so much build up and it's just taking a toll on me and it's probably also the fact that i haven't gotten any sleep definitely isn't helping the situation um but regardless here i am um so now i'm just waiting for my friend to come back and pick me up um because i'm now stuck in the airport with nowhere to go and I really don't know what my next step is. Um, the airline is saying they can reschedule me to Thursday, but just given the constant, constant back and forth, no support, no um, real anything other than this is what it is and you can either basically take it or leave it kind of thing. Um, I really don't feel like I want to go through with the Thursday flight because who knows? They might just decide to, to change it again and I don't think I could... I really don't think I could go through with that, um, to be honest. At this point, I'm still waiting for my results. I um, feel like I'm just like delirious um, at this point. And like I said, just super exhausted and deflated. Don't really know to feel what to do next. Um, I feel like I just need to get something to eat and take a nap, um, really, and then wake up and, and figure it out um, but I guess guys this is just the reality of trying to travel during a pandemic things are up in the air there's so many more um, restrictions and requirements that have to be met and if you don't meet them um, you're not going anywhere um, so I am pretty annoyed because I am definitely someone who um, likes to prepare um, and I thought I was completely prepared and ready and had everything that I needed to have done um, ready to go so that I would be able to make my flight on Saturday with no issues but it just wasn't meant to be I wasn't meant to I wasn't meant to be on that flight so I am going to be going home and I am I'm really, really, um, just like really sad about it. Um, and at this point, I really don't know what's next, how I'm gonna get there, when I'm gonna get there. If I'll have to go through this again, most likely I'm gonna have to take another test, pay for another test, $225 with tax just for the test. And yeah it's extremely extremely um annoying um on a side note as you would expect the airport is pretty dead um it was only really busy by the um check-in counter for the flight that i was supposed to be on because obviously um the flight was leaving but other than that it's it's pretty deserted there's not much going on um and that's probably for the best i just really wish 
I would have made it on that flight. Like it changed so much. I changed my plans. I'm just I'm supposed to braid my hair yesterday. That's why I look like a hot mess. Normally, whenever I travel, I always braid my hair because I just don't want to deal with it. Didn't even do that. I said, you know what? I'll figure it out um, when I get there. And I just need to do everything that I possibly can to make this flight. And it still, it still didn't happen. So I'm gonna take it as um, it just was not meant to be for me, um, which is a hard, a hard pill for me to swallow right now. Um, like I'm said, I'm still, still kind of fuming, still just feeling really, really deflated. Um, but. Like I said, this is the um, result of the situation that we're in. And at the end of the day, um, it's better to be safe than sorry. Um, but it still sucks regardless. Um, it really, really, it really, really sucks. Um, so guys, I will definitely keep you updated. Um, tune in to next week to figure out where I ended up or if I'm still um, stuck in Canada.